Good morning. I'm Robert Radio Man Robson of the Alabama Gospel Jubilee. Well, I'm going to do something a little different today. Uh, today I want to start a 10-day series on the Lord's Prayer, the devotion for each and every day, the Lord willing. First, I want to share with you something that's kind of funny because the Bible says laughter is medicine for the soul. And it goes like this, elderly women drivers. Two elderly women one named Marie and one named Edith were driving in a large car. Both could barely see over the dashboard. As they were cruising along, they came to an intersection. The stop light was red, but they went right through it. Edith, as the passenger, thought to herself, I must be losing it. I could have sworn we just went through a red light. After a few more minutes, they came to another intersection, and the light was red again. And again, they went right through it. This time, Edith was almost sure the light had been red, but was really concerned that she was losing it. She was getting nervous and decided to pay close attention to the road at the next intersection to see what was going on. At the next intersection, sure enough, the light definitely was red, and they went right through it. And she turned to the other woman and said, Mary, did you know we just went through three red lights in a row? You could have have good, you could have killed us. Edith turned to her and said, Oh, am I driving? Think about that. I had days devotion. This one's called Our Father Who Are in Heaven. Chapter 6, verse 9a says this. Pray in this way, Our Father Who Is in Heaven. Friday night is the beginning of the Jewish Sabbath. So the restaurant was filled with Jewish families celebrating their weekly day of rest and worship. The men wore dark dark suits. Their wives wore elegant dark dresses. Their children dressed formally as well. At the buffet table, a young Jewish girl on a high chair called to her father. She shouted, Abba, Abba. He affectionately responded in Hebrew. In English, her cries mean, Daddy, Daddy. She loved her father, and he readily acknowledged her when she called him by that name. Jesus referred to God the Father as Abba when he prayed in desperation and anguish in the Garden of Gethsemane just before his arrest, Mark chapter 14, verse 36. Likewise, Paul encouraged an early Christian to cry to Father by calling him their Abba, because God's indwelling Spirit had made them children of God. Ch Romans chapter 8, verse 15, also Galatians chapter 4, verse 6. In the model of prayer, Jesus told his disciples to pray, then in this way, our Father, who is in heaven, he called him address. God as Father, because they were his beloved children. That concept was never taught throughout the Old Testament. In fact, to most Jews in Jesus' day, it was blasphemous to refer to God as one's Father. Yet those who have received Christ as Savior are indeed become children of God. John chapter 1, verse 12. We are to be... We are to be imminent with him, even as that Jewish little girl was with her daddy. God is not distant. God is not impersonal. Rather, he is a very present help. Psalms chapter 46, verse 1. What touches your heart touches his heart. You are his precious child. He loves you dearly. When you pray today, thank him that he is your Heavenly Father. Thank you and God bless you for listening.